Welcome back, everyone. It's a new week. Uh, it's Monday. We're playing a game. I know I've been playing a lot of tabletop stuff lately, but uh, I finally got my capture card to stop dying. And so we're playing Mario Golf, courtesy of this guy, a Game Boy cart reader that has allowed me to legally rip my, uh, my old copy of of uh, Mario Golf for the Game Boy Color. Um, so, I have a lot of nostalgia about this game. I have not played it in a long, long time. Let me make sure I can hear the screen just a little bit. You all do not need to hear it because you're getting it through the computer, but I need to hear it for reasons. Okay. All right, let's uh, let's dive right in, shall we? I have uh, have I stalled long enough? I think I've stalled long enough. Let's get started. So we are playing one player mode. A and B are backwards. A and B are backwards. A. Yes, I do want to make a new character, which I haven't done this in the better part of a jacket. Select player, do we want to play as a male or a female? I want to pick as a guy, just because that's what I picked back in the day. Choose the character, small child, slick dude, well, let's be real, this guy looks much closer to me than this guy. Uh, cute anime OS is here, hello! I could have had you. Speaking of, uh, speaking of things I almost forgot to mention, uh, welcome to the Igloo Joe, someone, and Claude Boy. I think Claude Boy, you subscribed during a reading stream, but, uh, we are... I'm gonna pick this guy, because this is just, like, it's kind of very much the same sort of hair I am rocking right now, and I feel... Oh, but I hit B. I'm gonna be doing that all night. I'm gonna be like, oh yeah, I hit A. No, uh, the way I have A and B mapped are backwards. Uh, right-handed golfer, thank you. Can I change my- I can't change my stats yet. So this, uh, the biggest thing about this game is it is not just a golf game. Uh, it is also an RPG, so you have stats. So let me delete. I don't want to be Joe. I want to be G L A C I E R. That's that will exactly fit. That will exactly perfectly fit. We take those. L A C I E. Usually, I have to remove one or two letters uh, in games this old. Uh, but this is for the Game Boy Color, so do keep that in mind as we are playing here. So, the main crux of this game is that you are a new golfer who wants to break onto the pro circuit, and, well, okay, hello, it's your first day as our student. Follow our advice, and you'll be a great golfer. Now, Glacier, let me introduce the club staff. I'm the pro here at Marion Club. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. The golf master, Mario, is the idol of all golfers. Of course, Mario is the golf master. I know what it's like to watch me Mario. If you become a pro, you may get to meet Mario. That would be pretty cool. I would like to meet Mario. I'm the caddy master here at Marion Club. I'm responsible for the course and can answer questions. Look after Glacier, okay? Yes, please do. Learn new things. I remember how to play this game, but the trap might not, so... Use Marion Club's facilities to improve your game. Select Clubhouse to come here anytime. See you on the green. So this is, like, genuinely a, uh... It's a full RPG, based around golf. I love it so much. Uh, 
let's immediately go to the clubhouse. Yeah, there's a whole, like, town area where you can talk to people in the, in the clubhouse and everything. This course has many bunkers and water hazards. Avoiding them can be tough. Yeah, fair. If you dunk your ball, it's a one-stroke penalty. Bunkers are sand traps, and escaping them from them is tough. You know what's funny about golf games? Uh, is sometimes getting into a sand trap, you are done for. You're gonna blow, like, three strokes getting out of there. It's gonna suck. Other golf games, you're just like, yeah, I'm in the bunker. And you just blast it out of there, and it's just done. But it is... It is a super interesting idea. I firmly agree. Uh, I loved this game as a kid. I loved this game so much as a kid. Much like every game I loved as a kid, I was very bad at it. But I loved it anyway. You know what I just noticed? Hang on, let me check something. Down. Yeah, that's entirely out of sync. Uh, let me fix that real quick. Okay, I'm gonna lag here for a moment. And uh, you gotta promise not to make fun of me while I fix this. Oh no, that is active. That's way different than it used to be. You got, you, you, that's super weird. This used to be a completely different amount of delay. I guess it's plugged in differently now. Uh, filters. Yeah, noise suppression, that's fine. Properties. Okay, it's in the advanced properties, maybe? See, this is the type of thing that I should have fixed before I started. Uh, hmm. There used to be a way to, like... Huh. Yeah, there definitely used to be a way to fix this. Uh, I don't remember how to do it anymore. Oh, no one, really? Uh, is there really good advanced... Oh, I might have to come get over here to get the advanced audio delay. Yes, that's where it is. I remember how to use my streaming equipment. So, the Elgato is not on delay, the bass cam's on delay, the microphone is not on the correct delay. 242 milliseconds? That should put me roughly in, in alignment. Let me grab my phone and make sure that's still the right delay. So let me grab my phone and use my stopwatch, because but like I said, I fixed the capture card, I, didn't, I, didn't, I assumed that it was going to have the same delay. My apologies, but this is a really fun game, I promise. So we will hit up and start at the same time. Ooh. Okay, that took five seconds. That is five seconds of delay. One moment. I can fix this. So I'm at least roughly in sync. Five and a half seconds. Oh no. So that's 5,600 milliseconds. Good heavens. Alright, I'm gonna- I'm gonna- I'm going to sound a little strange here for a second, but you're gonna have to trust me. It's worth it. Five six uh, five five zero zero. I'm trying not to say anything. Okay. Now, provided this doesn't break anything, I should now be in sync with the uh, Elgato. So when I hit down, that's much closer to in sync, and I'm fine with it. Uh, all right, let's talk to this guy. Talk to this guy. He said. Everyone thinks so much before playing, they choke. Yeah, that's fair. What do you got to say, Purple? Aren't there a lot of golfers waiting to start? Maybe. I want to increase my drive by 20 yards. Well, you better get lifted, though. If I do, I can use a, second, a short iron on my second shot. 
Approach shots are more important than tea or, tea or iron shots. If you miss the green on the second stroke, only a good approach can save par. I mean, yeah, you're not wrong. To avoid hazards, don't use a driver on the tee shot. Really? That's some interesting advice. Low trajectory and headwinds, high trajectory and tailwinds. No, that's backward. Low trajectory and headwinds so it doesn't affect you as much. High trajectory and tailwinds so it gets under the wall. Well, really, technically, the best option is to recognize how you want the ball to affect the wind and have a trajectory, have the appropriate trajectory in, oh, trophy room, that won't matter for a long time, uh, have the appropriate, uh, trajectory for your ball, given how much wind you want to have. But this is, like, you get to walk, walk around, there's like a little golf lounge. Good approach shots can really help your score. Yeah, good approach shots can really help your score. The less time you have to spend on the green, especially in a game like this, where you don't have very good indicators of the green, is a great, is, is a good thing. I know lower clubs have less control, but dang, bunker shots don't necessarily have to make the green. Sure. What's this person seeing out the window? It's easy to come up short if you don't use distance clubs in a headwind. In a tailwind, use small clubs. Well, you know? This has to be the opening area because they're giving you the exact opposite of the advice you want. The club champs are here in the lounge today. Well, we need to get out on the links and get practicing before we talk to the club champs, so we're not gonna walk up there. I wanna be a club champ so I can hang there too. Yeah, it literally won't. If you're going up there, you better know who's who. Oh, they're telling me. Those are all the club champs. They'll tell you who's who. Everyone pay attention, this is important. The intellectual on the right is the Lynx Club. It's the Lynx champ, Genius. Genius. <laughs> He's the best of the club champs. The stud next to him is Dune Champ, Tiny, the second best. The lady is Palm Champ, Grace. She's next in line. The little guy on the left is Putz. He's a Marion Champ. He's the Marion Champ, and at the bottom of the ladder. Definitely reading words on screen. Yes, I did get that. Thank you. If you want to be a club champ? Know your rivals. Okay, but we're not going to go talk to the club champs because we need to practice. So we will walk out of here. It'll give us a little, you know, hey, you're in the Marion Clubhouse. It's like, thank you. I do that. And then we will leave out the front of the clubhouse to go golfing. Yeah, I forgot about this. I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, there's like a little, there's a little walking area. We gain one level, 16 more points. Thank you, sir. Oh, the caddy wants to talk to us. You came to golf? Yeah, of course. Uh, practice round, because I need to remember how to play this game. Absolutely, I want to start right now. The final group will now begin the tournament. Yeah, so they're about to start the tournament. So there's a group of four people uh, going into the tournament. Now I'm going to go play a practice round after they go golfing. Oh man, I remember this game, says Jovial Imp. I remember this game, too. I was, like, I got my capture card to work, and I was like, I know exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to play this. Kind of makes me think of the Mario Tennis game on the Game Boy Color. It's the same developer. Ooh, wow, 15 miles of win. I think we'll leave that where it belongs. Uh... Yeah, Mario Tennis, I think, was also Camelot. Kind of does the same thing, if I remember right. I'm shocked that the, the Golf Story devs didn't lean in and do a tennis game as well. Alright, let's see. This is kind of a standard... I may have gotten the, those two confused. Entirely fair. Uh, but... Oh, I had something about Golf Story. I'm surprised the Golf Story devs have not done... Uh, a tennis game now. OS does have huge brain. Alright, this is a pretty standard golf game, judging by the interface there. It's kind of just a boop, boop. You'll see what I mean as soon as I start pressing buttons. So you just press once, twice, three times. First hit sets power, second hit sets, uh... Oh my gosh, that wind! 
almost tempted to reset. To play, to play into a 15 mile an hour wind? Oh my goodness. No way I'm gonna make par 4 with 15 miles of wind coming at me. We'll see. Of course, my player is not super uh, buff yet. I haven't ground for any points. Oh yes! Perfect shot! Oh, it gives you a little nice shot! I love that. I should have adjusted for wind. <sighs> now I gotta chip super close so the green doesn't kill me. Uh, that's, that's the putter, so... Oh man, I... Can I see... Can I see more? Oh, I can adjust my swinging range there. Look at that! See how it changed color? Uh... Okay, so I think with the shorter range there, we can go about a third of the way and get a good approach. Uh, yeah, that was almost a nice on. It was a great shot. Uh, so I think that second smaller tick, given the wind and that we're hitting with a sand wedge, I think that second smaller tick might might get us very close to the uh, close to the pin. We'll see. Big money, no whammies. Stop. Ooh, that wasn't enough. Now I got a putt. Well, at least it's a downhaul putt. The HUD is very Kirby's Dream Course. I can see what you mean. Okay, so the green will curve this way, judging by the arrows. So we need to hit into that. And we need to hit most of the way so it'll get there. Let's see if we can get par here. Uh, oh no, we can... Oh, we can adjust how how much the swing has. But we still need the smallest putter here. Uh, yeah, let's see what this gets us. Complete silence, hearing the grass grow. There's no sound coming out of the capture? Oh no, there is sound coming out of the capture. It's just complete silence. Everyone be very quiet. This is a very important putt. He's putting for par. Come on. Oh yeah! Par! You're gonna get a lot of like great golf noises out of me. <laughs> Where I'm like, whoa! You know? Alright, we will take I will take a par. Could I have done better? Maybe. Alright, it's uh, 18 miles an hour of wind going that way. But I can't adjust because I have the... Uh... Yeah, I have the trees in the way. Unless I hit across the out of bounds and hope the wind doesn't take me into a tree. I'm gonna gamble at this. This is a terrible shot to take. I should do something like this so that it just kind of bounces into the rough, but I'm going to do this. This is a terrible idea. Do not. See, the thing is, when I'm golfing digitally, I make horrible, horrible risks because I don't, I'm not losing anything for it. Let's go. Hardcore golf out here. Yeah, we should not hit those trees based on the, what it's showing us. Yeah, baby! Oh, bless you, Magnus. Ooh, as long as we're on the fairway. Woo! Just barely rolling onto the fairway there. Yeah, that, uh, ooh. Okay, um... I think we need to bump down a couple clubs. Whoops! Magnus just knocked something over. Okay, so the sand wedge is clearly not enough here. I think we're uh, genuinely. I think the wind, given the wind here, uh, well, the nine iron wouldn't get us as much loft as the pitching wedge. Would I be better off to hit a nine iron and have to like choke down? Or, can I get past the tree there? Oh no, I'm past the tree there. Yeah, let's, um... 
Let's go most of the way on the 9-iron and see if we can get a good, uh, on out of it. That's not what I wanted. That is. I'm gonna be missing- I'm gonna be mixing up A and B all night. It's gonna be driving me nuts. Alright, let's see if we can get this, because if we can get between the trees without the wind getting too under the ball, uh, we can- we can be on in three and not have to stress, depending on how this, uh, can you see the map again? Okay, yeah, we, we give it just barely some, just barely under the top. Some very tense music. Ooh, ooh, that slice might net me. Oh no, oh, we're in the rough, no. Okay, uh, okay, sand wedge. Okay, let's see if we can get a good on with this, because we might be able to still do this. Let's see here. Oh no, that slice again! Man. Okay, we'll go for par again. It's much less fun. So, small putt, we'll hit uphill so it curves down a little bit, and I think, I think the dot is trying to give us how many ticks. Maybe. Let's see what we get out of, it's better to give it a little too much and have to make a short putt, I think, at this point in the game. So, I'd say it's there-ish. Ooh, no, we adjusted a little too much. All right, here we go for par. This is just a ch this is just a tap in. Just get a little tappy tap. Oh man, bogey. Rip and kill. Man, we could have we could have done some great things there, but we we whipped a few shots. Oh my gosh, look at that win. Okay, so let's go for three iron, and since we're hitting into such a stiff wind. You're deliberating on swings and putts like I do moves in RPGs. This is an RPG golf game, to be fair. Alright. There's a stiff wind coming at us. So let's see what this nets us. Even if it doesn't go well, I think it'll get us a good on. But yes, this game does have RPG mechanics. As you play, your golfer can get better stats. Like, more drive, less... Less, uh... Fade and draw, uh more ball control, that kind of thing. Ooh. No, we're, we're curving into the wind here, but that might be good. Ooh, just barely on. You can 100% uh, one, one shot this hole. I guarantee it. It's a par three, you're this close. Okay, I, let's see. Let's give it most of the putter here. I think the golf, the, we are, we're putting uphill, so we're gonna need most, if not all, of the putter. And I think I, I may have adjusted right for the curve. If not, we still have one more tappy tap. Oh, I know, like the putting gives you the underground theme. Oh, this is such a good game. Oh man, I way over adjusted. Well, at least we've got an easy tap to tap here. Yeah, this this is an easy tap. Just barely anything. That's way too much. Oh, we still sunk it. We take those. Uh, I was really hoping to net a birdie on that one, so we'd be back uh, at zero, zero over. But ugh, I have. Like, there's so much nostalgia assaulting my brain right now. I have not played this game in a long time. I wonder if there's, like, some kind of ball control difference between this and this. It's true. We gotta get the ball to go home. So, six miles an hour is not that much wind, so I don't think we need to adjust very much for it. Let's see what this does. Oh, come on! 
It's just like real golf. I have the slightest little curve to my shot, and it drives me nuts. Which, I want to clarify, I have not golfed in a long time. But, I, I love golf, so, why I'm such a sucker for digital golf is, uh, I just, I like golf conceptually, but I don't adore, like, how much space golf takes, and I'm not super coordinated, so, physical golf has never been a forte of mine. So, I, I love digital golf because it's just golf conceptually. That's what I like. Okay, let's let's hope this doesn't. Uh, ever been to a driving range? I love driving range because it's like you can you can see how your swing changes uh, with minute adjustments. Oh, okay. I was expecting to get a little further on that, but we take this. Uh, I I love going to the driving range, man. It's uh, <laughs> it's a great time. Yeah, golf, but none of the commitment is exactly correct. Like, I, I hate having to play off shots that I completely failed on. Actually, do I need to adjust for the wind here? The wind did change the approach of our ball a little bit, so let's set it here instead of directly in line with the pin. Let's see what that gets us. That might not be enough. Well, it'll get us an on. I would have loved to have been a little closer there. But yeah, uh... I don't know, I really, I do genuinely very much like golf. I've been over-adjusting this whole time, uh, so we're... We're downhill? We're downhill, so, okay. Let's try something looking a little bit like this. That may not be enough. Nope, it is not enough. Come on, man. Car putt. It's coming down to this every. It's just like it is just like real golf. I golf like this just like when I'm on the sh when I'm on the green, my short game always turns into this. I'm like, oh yeah, this will be a good putt, and it, it right next to the hole, and I'm like, come on. It's always two putts on the green it drives me bonkers. There we go. Yeah, even. We're gonna we're gonna finish this game one over unless I pull something wild out of this out of this uh out of this the rest of these holes. Uh yeah, let's try that. Uh sorry, I'm going to <laughs> Mulligan Mulligan! Mulligan is right. Uh <laughs> I'm going to clam up every time we're about to hit because I'm like, oh, I need to get it right. Alright, uh, we got a little wind under the ball. Um, it's gonna take it a little bit this way, so I say we give it a few ticks that way, and let's give it 90% of the putting wedge, or the pitching wedge here, and see what we get. Yeah. Let's see, because, you know, either way, we, we will have a good, uh, approach. That curve might actually help us this time. Oh, that wasn't enough. We're gonna be stuck in the rough outside the- Ah, oh, come on! <laughs> Fist fights Bob Barker in the sand trap. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can get something out of this sand wedge. Ooh, uh, no. Sand wedge. Tiny sand wedge. Uh, okay, so we need to barely give us anything. Because we're right there, so... That may even be a little bit too much. Oh no, that was not enough. I was like, oh yeah, it's all the way over there. No. Nah. Okay, medium putt. Uh, let's give a little adjustment for the hill there. Let's go about like halfway through the medium putt, shall we? Oh no! Ah, oh, we're gonna be one over. Okay. That's way too much. Let's see what this gets us. Come on, get in there, get in there, yeah! 
Never have I been so excited about a bow game. Oh man, but... I spent so much time, like, just playing the driving range in this game as a kid. Just, how far can I get the ball to go? <laughs> you know? Wait, wait, wait. Let's go a little further. Because then we might... If we get behind this tree, I'm gonna lose my mind. Come on. I should not have said anything about the tree. I thought that was gonna still be in the air and we were gonna be right behind that tree for a second. I was gonna be like, I shouldn't have said anything. Uh, we got the wind right behind us here, so let's give it... Let's give it a little more than we think because the little shy guy that sits on the scoreboard, I know. So cute. This game is so full of charm. Let's give it the full six iron here. If it's a little too much, we still would probably have a pretty good cleanup pot here. Yeah, look at that. The wind's like almost exactly behind us. I don't know if you can change at what point you're hitting the ball, like in relation to center before you hit, but Birdie putt, we are uphill. Do I just go for it? Because we're hitting up into a hill, it, like it completely hills upward. I think we just go for it. I don't want to go for a medium putt, I don't have a sense of how long that is. I say we just go for it. Let's just go for it, full putter, and see what we net. Come on, baby. Yeah! Let's go! Bounced in, we take those! Was that a clean putt? No, we take those, though. Alright, we are now... Oh, look at the little, look at the little shy guy. I like... Oh, man, this game is just like, it's got so much charm. Like, it's wild how much Camelot put into this game. Like, it's a golf game. You weren't expecting any anything big from a golf game. And yet here we are. I should not get too wrapped up in this game, uh, this particular like nine. This particular nine, just because it's a practice hole and I'm not gonna get me anything. I'd say with that 10 mile an hour wind, if we get under this right. I'm gonna go for the pin. I'm gonna go for the pin. I think it's it's not a good idea, but I'm gonna go for it. And then they went on to do Toadstool Tour and started the whole Mario. Oh, we we whacked into a tree. My brain's smooth. Well, good thing we have an extra score. We have an extra stroke. Uh, they went on to do Toadstool Tour and believe started the whole Mario blooper real thing. Did that start with Toadstool Tour? I didn't know that. That's actually kind of neat. Alright, we're in the rough. We need to give this the gas. Really, really get under it. And that's why. Look at that approach. We might be able to save, we might be able to save a birdie here. If I can hit the, if I can hit this putt, so, adjust for the curve, recognize that we are hitting... Wait a minute, no, there is no curve. It dips down into a valley for the, for the putt here. Alright, let's go... I didn't know the Mario Blooper, but yeah, I didn't know the Mario Blooper reel started with a uh, Toadstool Tour, and I didn't know it was Camelot's idea. That's actually super cool. Come on, baby. Yeah, let's go, birdie. Yeah, I, I knew they did Toadstool Tour, uh, but they they did really well with the Mario Sports games for a hot minute then. I actually got this game. Uh, nice, nice. We take those. Uh. All right, so it is theoretically possible if I nail this, that one mile an hour win won't do anything. We maybe give it one tick over. Uh, I 
think we can get this. Ooh, not with that, not with that, not with that curve, though. Nope. I didn't get, I didn't give it enough gas. Now do high school gas. <laughs> not enough. Uh, not enough gas behind that one. If we had maybe maxed out that iron or gone one iron further to be a little more precise, I think I think we could have had that. Uh, how far was this in the... Alright, let's go two-thirds of the way, because I've been under-hitting these all night. Ooh, buddy. Ooh, right past the pin. Right past the pin. Did everybody see that? Alright, we are hitting... Downhill? I think if we... no, nope, other way. Let's see if we can nail par here. Let's give it what it looks like. Game audio kind of choppy. Ooh, that's a problem. It shouldn't be doing that. I wonder if it's just upset with me. Let's see what this gets. That might be a little too much. I wasn't aimed right. Man, we got that we got that huge birdie and now we're gonna blow it. We'll blow the birdie and we're back up plus one. Game audio kinda choppy, I'm salty. Yeah, my capture card's been being uh, has had a case of the sillies lately. So I apologize if the game audio is being a little weird. Look at that. Look at that. We just wiped out that the plus one with a minus one and now we're stuck back at uh, we're stuck back at even. Okay, let's see if we can get any further there. Okay. I wonder if the, like, understandable diagnosed with silly, firm diagnosed with silly, uh, is that gonna, is that gonna nail a tree? That's 100% gonna nail a tree. That was a horrible, horrible suggested shot, game. Why would you betray me so? Also, what's with this this tree directly in the middle of the fairway? Yeah, that's that's golf. I'm having to like double check that this is a reasonable shot. Yeah, if the oh, it's oh, I oh, it's doing the thing. It is, it, the graphics card, the capture card's misbehaving. Occasionally, you might see a little glitching. Specifically, I specifically double-checked. Oh, that curve is not going to do me any favors. Yeah, that curve uh, might have cost me that shot. I'm very, I'm very annoyed. I specifically checked the uh, capture card so it wouldn't be doing this, and now it is doing this. Dang it again! Where's my brain at? Curve into the bunker. I'm too bent out of shape about the graphics card <laughs> or the, the graphics card, the capture card. That's gonna be way too much. Yup. Man! But yeah, the, 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 gra the, the capture card has been known to misbehave every now and again, so... My apologies if it's decided to start doing that again. Come on! Ooh! Just around the cup there! Man, if, if I had not adjusted the shot, I think I would have made that. Let's see what this gets us. There we go. One over. Just thought I'd pop in and check you out. Yeah, uh, happy to have you tune in. Thanks for dropping by. Plus three. Oh, we're playing all 18? We're playing all 18. Who? Who? Who didn't tell me we're playing all... Wait a minute. I know this hole. This is the same hole from Famicom Golf because it's the same hole from Wii Golf. Isn't it? It might be.
Maybe? I might be wrong. But thank you for dropping by, Jovial M. I hope you enjoyed our time with golf. Would ha would be happy to have you back for uh maybe some paper cuts, uh my audiobook podcast uh, this Friday. Alright, I think we go so Yeah, I think we go with the suggested shot not the full 9-iron, and try and putt. Because if we tried to go for the full shot directly, uh, we'd nail that tree. Nice. Ooh, we were in the rough. I didn't calculate for that. No, look at how long that putt is. Look at how long that putt is. No, dude. Yeah, it's like, use the medium butter! It's like, thank you. Uh, this is still an entirely unreadably long putt, though. Uh... Honestly, I think this is just, like, straight downhills. I think, I think we don't hit the, uh, this little hill here. And so I think we just, we just hit downhills. We give it about half the media putter, maybe. I don't know the I don't know the putter the putter length. So the small putter is 30 feet. So we need about 60 feet. So we need about two thirds of the of the medium putter, I think. Maybe a little less because we've got all those downhills. But I think we start with about 60 and see what that nets us because we have another shot wiggle room. Let's see what that gets. Ooh, that's a little spicy. Ooh, yeah, it was a little too spicy. Alright. Okay, let's see if we can get the... We can get the par putt here. We're coming in a little uphill. I think we just... I think we just give it what it, what it, what it looks like it needs. That's a little hot. I don't know, it made it. We take this. Again, we could have had a birdie if I had hit a little better. But we're plus three coming into the back nine. Uh, I'm not super enthused about that. Uh, we could definitely have been doing better, but there's a reason I said give me a practice game before we dive, dove into the tournament mode. Uh, I think normal one would be this best. Let's see if the, yeah, let's try and adjust for the wind here and see if we can get up on the higher, like, chunk of fairway here. and slicing them. I, I must be a fishery, because I'm hooking and slicing all over the place tonight. <laughs> you know? Uh, I'm usually really good about, uh, oh, that's directly into not one, but two trees. So it's like, oh, yeah, be there. I'm like, no. Let's give it the four wood. Uh, let's adjust the wind a little bit. There we go. Straight shot for once. Alright, now stop. Yeah, the ball barely rolls in this game. Yeah, I'm still, like, I'm adjusting my brain from, uh, a golf story. Let's bump it down to the 9-iron. Okay. Yeah, 9-iron. Yeah, I think 9-iron will, uh, will get us what we need. Honestly, the, no, pitching wedge is too short. I think we go, I think we go full 9-iron because, like, it's still getting a little wind under it. It may, uh, may mean we have a rough approach, but I think we go. What are the speed run for this game looks like? I'm sure it's just nonsensical. Because, you know, any speed run for a game out this long is wild. Oh! Oh! Y'all see this, right? I could make this putt. If I don't, if I don't beef it on this putt, I can make it. Oh, we gotta do it. We gotta do it. Come on, baby putt. Yes, party. 
very excited about this party. Let's go. Yeah, you comb your hair, dude. We're real hype. We're, we're down to plus two. Let's see if we can get that score down any lower, shall we? 17 mile an hour! I love that the little, like... I love the little, uh... Let's go for four iron. I want to have a good approach shot if I eat it on this. Uh, let's hit in the wind a little bit. Well, the four iron doesn't have that much loft to it. Or do I want to go for three iron? I think we go three iron. Uh, and if we overhit, it's still a pretty easy putt. But we have a, we have a good shot at a hole in one here if we aim it correctly. Someone in the chat who remembers playing this game as a kid, unlike me, who just kind of was like, GOLF BUTTONS, uh, is gonna have opinions about this shot, but... Let's see what this gets us. Ooh, that curve might not end well. No, that's very not where I wanted that. Now I gotta... Now I gotta get, like, a sand wedge chip in here. Oh, man. With that much wind, too. Honestly, I, I almost might play it, play it straight and try and use both the curve of the green and the wind. Hmm. Or I could go big boy putter. What if I went big boy putter? 200 feet putter, because I have 43 left. Like, it's weird to putt off the fairway, but, like, it would make the wind a non-issue. You know? You know what? We're already down to points. Let's, let's gamble on it. Let's go big boy putter. Oh, man. Yeah, no. We should not have gone big boy putter. Can we, like, rewind the game? Local man immediately considering cheating. That's way too much. That's way too much. We're gonna overshoot the pin by a billion years. Oh no. Maybe not. I mean, we're still already with it, though. Man, I shouldn't, I shouldn't have gambled on the big boy putter. Ooh, we're downhill. That might be a little hot. Oh no. Well, bogey. We just immediately undid the birdie we just did, we just had last time. I should not have gone for the big boy putter. I should have just, I should have just done an iron like a normal person. I was like, no, I'll go for the big boy putter so the wind doesn't matter. No. You blew it. You blew it. Oh, man. 16 mile an hour winds. I'm, I got real bad RNG on the wind tonight. But we'll see what this practice game, if this practice game, like, affects my stats or anything. I'm not sure if it's, like, tournaments only affect your stats, or, like, practice games where like, you spend a little time in the range, does that affect your stats? Alright, four iron. Ooh! Come on, baby. Give me the on. Nope, that's the rough. I was hitting it in the wind, I should have should have hit it more. Yeah, that seems about right. So, 30 yards versus 60 yards. So we'll give it about two-thirds on this. Cause it's been... Ooh, way over the pin, into the bunker. That's rough, buddy. Come on. Really? It's gonna land on the green there. I couldn't have, I could have gave it a little more and been done. Alright, well. Tappy tap. Man, bogey. Clearly I have a lot of adjusting to do. We're plus four. We would need to get at least a birdie on the next four holes to come in even. We're really, we're really eating it tonight. mile an hour wind. Wait, wait, wait. Hmm. 
that starts making the tree a hat. Let's play for it. Oh my gosh, look at that curve. Actually, that might have been the best. Depending on where the pin is from here. Because I paid attention. Zoom out on all. Okay, am I going to interact with the tree here? Maybe. Let's aim for the pin, and if we get the tree, we get the tree. No, we're deaf. We're 100% getting that tree, so give it a few ticks to go for I think we'll use the wind to our advantage here. Maybe should have curved it? I don't know. Maybe I could have used the three wood and intentionally curved to try and get in close with the hole. Either way, that was two, so if we get a good... Uh, we get a good, we get a good, we get a good chip on here. Let's say, yeah. Mm. What about there? That might be a little much. Oh, no, actually, that was a pretty good approach. I think we could have given it a little less. But, let's see if we can net a par putt here. We're uphill. Come on, baby, par putt. Far putt, baby, yeah. Far putt. Alright, we need to get birdie on the next, on the rest of the course, or we're gonna be plus four for our first game. Oh, man. The pin's right in front of us, isn't it? Maybe. We need to move on to that next chunk of fairway, or no, we can just go direct. Alright, let's see what this gets us. Come on. No, I should have given it. I should have bumped up a club. I've been hitting shorter than it's been saying all night. Yeah, okay. Good. That's good. That's gonna be way over the pin. Oh no! We were coming out of the bunker. Never mind. Ooh, do we have any hill here? All right. Well, there goes our shot at uh, at a plus or minus zero. So, still, at least we got that far putt. I think we could have done a little better on that approach. But either way, we would have had one more stroke. So. Alright, 306 yards to the pin. That wind is not going to do us any favors. Oh, I can't do it with the one foot. So, occasionally, I'll hit B to improve the shot. Oh, but you can't do it. You can't do it from the T. You can do it with the one wind, you just can't do it from the T. I wonder why. I wonder if it's just something about, like... Clearly, I understand when what the B button does to change it to the red bar. Maybe it's just higher risk, higher reward. Who knows? Not me. Maybe someone in chat? I don't know. I'm having a blast playing this. It's been forever. I love it. Like, and once the RPG elements come in, uh, I think you all will love this too. I think we give it one more because of that win coming just give it the... Oh, no, I can't. Okay. Alright. Maybe it's just the loft that changes when I hit B? Heck. Let's bump down a couple clubs. No, it's just not letting me do it at all. Huh. That's interesting. I say we give it the four iron. Or maybe the three iron, I'd say. Rather over hit than under. See what I mean? I probably could have given it even more and had a really nice approach, but now I have to gamble on this guy. It, it, it doesn't... Yeah, it doesn't say what the difference is there. 
so let's... How far are we from the pin? We're 16 yards from the pin, so we need at least half of this. Ooh, but into that wind... Yeah, we could have given it even more. I don't know if we could have chipped in, but now we have a real easy par putt, which is nice. Let's give a little tippy-tap. Get ourselves a perfectly good par putt. Sorry, I'm looking up over here because the, uh, cat- uh, the- my display of the capture is over there. I should maybe have set Lappy up there. That would have been a good idea. Ooh, that might not be enough. Well, it's not enough to get a really, really good approach, but it's pretty mid, I'd say. Yeah, next time I do this, I might set Lappy up there so I'm not just, like, staring away from you all. I don't know. Eh, yeah, let's do this. Let's give this the... Give this the full meter. Ooh, not with that curve I want. Uh, well, that was a pretty passive approach. Could have done better. That's too much. Oh no, it bounced. We take those. A lot, a lot of par shots here. A lot of par shots here. Clearly I need to readjust to this game. Yeah, let's go for that. Yeah, I didn't know this, uh... I did not know this practice game was gonna be all... All 18. I thought it was gonna be 9. Oh no, the wind! Oh no, we're on the fairway. We're good. We've still got a reasonable... We could, we could chip for a pretty reasonable approach here, I think. Clearly, still getting a sense of my guy here. Could be doing better. Could be doing better. So, 30 feet is not enough. We're 100 feet, so let's give it about 50 and see what we do. Ooh! If I had aimed that right, if I had not overcompensated for the hill there, I think I would have had a birdie. Get in there! Oh my goodness! Bogey! This time I didn't adjust for the hill and whiffed. Oh my goodness, bogey. Dying Squirtle, plus five. Oh, we got some experience though! Yeah, this is my favorite part of the game. Now we get to level up. Cool. Uh, let's... Ooh, I don't want to improve drive yet. I think I want to remove the fade and draw from my shot immediately. Oh, do I only get one point? Okay, uh, given that, let's, hang on, is there, is there a driving range around here? Shall I tell how to find the words you want to look up? Sure. Oh, it's literally in a golf encyclopedia. That's cute. Is there a driving range? Hey, you. Want to know the basics of golf techniques? Sure. Oh, thanks. A golf techniques list. Oops. What is this? Is this right? Yeah, driving rain. There we go. Did it give you a little, like... Hey, God. It's a good idea to learn terms for different shots. For a righty, curving left is a hook, while right is a slice. And vice versa, I suppose. Practice here? Absolutely. Golf. Alright. So this is what I should have done for my warm-up.
because then I would have just been able to get like an immediate, easy uh, sense of what I was doing. Let's do that again, a little less and a little this way, see how close we can get to the pit. I hope that flickering is not coming across in the shot. This is driving me bonkers. The lights in my... These little LED light fixtures have been burning out slowly. Curve might not work. No, it wasn't enough. Alright. Always happy to have you here. I'm just golfing. The light was flickering. It sensed grass coming. Look at that! Okay. That gives you that gives me a much better sense of that shot. So I need to be about there. Is that just like based on the bounce? Okay. Let's see how we can do. There's like a driving competition later. I don't know. I don't remember where the driving competition is and when it comes up, but like I would need to beef up. Yeah! Look at that! Only one! That's probably the only time we're gonna see that screen! Hang on, I'm done hitting. That way. Oh, I can change the wind direction while I'm paused because it's a practice mode. to say love you, staying late at work to help pop prep for Pumpkin Spice Hell starting tomorrow. Oh, it's Pumpkin Spice time. It's Pumpkin Spice time, I see. I didn't know it was Pumpkin Spice time tomorrow. Well, good luck with handling Pumpkin Spice. I'm always happy to have you drop it. Okay, so that's about how much... It's 167, and we just had... 174. So that takes about calculating, ruminating. So we we hit that hole in one earlier, and that was 174. So minus four, minus three. That's that. So 15 mile an hour takes seven uh seven yards off of our shot. Anyway, let's quick practice. That's fun though. I'm I'm really glad that that exists. Caddy Master's office. What's down this way? Is this the one that's the approach practice range? Yes, I need to I do need to practice my approach. Am I wondering what I'm doing? Yeah, what are you doing? When you're close to the green, use an approach shot to hit the control. You can improve your score. Yes. Oh, you can just pick any spot on the approach course. This is what I should have done instead of a practice game, was get a sense of my swing. On the pro on the practice screens. Look at there. So are we are we consistently four under the like max range there? Huh. Yeah, we, I definitely should have led with this. I could have gotten a much, much better sense of my... Okay, let's change our practice settings. What, what does it mean, 3D screen? Aw. Oh, that's gonna be horrible. 
Oh, 3D screen is like when it cuts away to show after the shot. Well, I want to keep that. Oh, we can cut the music. Okay. Yeah, I think... Oh, and you can walk, like, all the way back here for, like, a, like a hole-in-one type shot. Okay. Yeah, I might, I might putz around on this just to, like, be less bad at the game. Like, if I want to stream more of this. But I think we go, I think we go try one of those, uh, I think we try it in the tournament. Unless there's something over here. Oh, practice screen. Okay, that's the practice screen. Noted. Let's go give it full game a shot. Hello. Oh, it does that every time you want to go try and play on the full course. It's like, do you want to play in the tournament or do you want to practice round? Yeah, uh... So, we're not gonna... We are probably not gonna place very well, given the way we played last time. Let's play, is this another 9 or is this another 18? Question of the day. Also, I love the little, like, deep. The little, like, slightly smaller sprites as they're walking away. Let's see if we can actually get something good here. I wonder what the P6 means. That might be something I have to, like, look up on, like, the game facts or whatever after stream and be like, what's this? Or maybe it's, maybe it's described in-game. Oh, I got best drive. Nice. I said we give it a little, the littlest nudge for the one mile an hour win and just, just go for it. Yeah, because 154 isn't enough. I say we just go for it. Because we're usually pretty consistently up. We're usually pretty, pretty consistently a little under. That might be a little far, but I think we give it like the last bar and see what we get. I don't know. Worst thing is we just go over the pin. Ooh, that's a pretty good approach. But we should have given it a few ticks less. That's exactly where the game was telling us it was gonna go. Okay, this is gonna go eight yards. We gotta go 24 feet. I think we just give it the full gas. I think... I think the hill is going to be negligible. The hill is gonna do less than I think. Honestly. Because it seems pretty subtle. Let's see if we can nail this birdie putt. Let's just give it the full putter. Did you see that? It right on the edge of the cup. I, I, I should have I should have left it with the two two pixels of adjustment. Oh man. Now we're now we're stuck with this. Now we're stuck with this par. I could have gotten a birdie. I could have gotten a birdie. I could have easily gotten a birdie on this hole. My original instinct was correct in getting a birdie on this hole. Now I'm ninth and now I'm in I'm tied for ninth at zero. How did he get minus four on that? Sir? We, maybe we just need to grind practice games to, like, improve our stats a bunch. Okay, so 17 mile an hour is gonna apply, like, what? Like, almost 10, uh, 10 yards to our shot. We're gonna go about 205. I, I, I would say with that diagonal win, I'd say about here is good. We have no, we have no concern about hitting that water. Uh, that water feature at 17. Alright, that's going directly into a tree. So we don't want that. This gets us. Wait, wait, wait. Closer, so we don't get yeah, I wanna I wanna be as close to the pin as I can. 
Ooh, I don't want to hit a tree. That's definitely gonna hit a tree. That might not. Oh, we're gonna find out. I accidentally hit A. Alright, that's a pretty good placement. I think if we can if we can wrangle the wind, we can get a really good approach ship here. I'd say let's go go for it. Uh, a little less. Ooh. Ooh, that's gonna be close. That that's gonna be a very interesting approach shot. Yeah, look at how much the wind affected that. Because we were using our sand wedge. Oh man, and it's even suggesting the sand uh, no, it's suggesting medium butter. So it's it says about 33. down a small putter to see where we're aiming. So let's give it about a third, because we're 33 feet away, and give the, this medium putter gives us 100 feet. So, no, the medium putter. About there. That's a lot. Ooh. And it was. I think we're bogey. I think we, we missed that approach. Yeah, this is putt for bogey. Man. That's a little much. Oh, but it wasn't. Yeah, Puffer Bogey. Definitely could have done better on that one. Yeah, we're down tied for 11th here. We're definitely doing better than a good deal of the rest of everyone, but... Oh, I get it. That's why he had a minus four, is he started on a completely different hole than everybody. He was in a different starting group than me. Okay. Say we go for it. Let's see what that gets us. Ooh, that's not an awful approach, but I could have done better. If I hit this birdie, I'm gonna lose my noggin. Just for the hill! <laughs> could've done that! Could've made that. I could've made that birdie. If I remembered what rewind was back to on this emulator. Oh, that's not enough. That's not enough. We're gonna bogey. Look at that little bitty putt. Oh man, if I remembered what rewind was bound to, we would be we would be breathing through this tournament. That's another bogey. Man, we're still tied for 11th, but... We might be able to recover. We are only three holes in. It is an 18-hole game, so... We might be able to recover here. I should not get Fatalist yet. Do us any favors. Well, actually, it was in. It was toward the direction of the wind. So, yeah. Still, that's a pretty good shot. We are almost directly with the wind this time. Say we go for the one one. Keep accidentally starting the shot and panicking. Oh, we didn't get any air because of the. It's it's a wood, so it doesn't have any loft. Just a ton for the, for the 17 mile an hour wind because it's an iron. But otherwise, I think we can make with this. Come on, baby. Give me an approach. That was. Uh, uh huh. That was a complete fail. We need to adjust a lot more. This is the sand pitch. About half of it. Come on, get in there. Oh! Dang, look at how close that was! 
Someone clipped that. That was close. That was so close. We could have had a birdie. That was so close. Someone clipped that. Did you see it? It rolled right past the rim of the cup. If I had adjusted just one tick more. I'm so bad. That's way too much. That's too hot. Oh no. Okay. I a birdie. I could have had a birdie. We moved up a little. I could have had a birdie. could have had a birdie. We could have made it on that approach. And I I'd have lost my mind. I love making approach shots, man. Oh no. Oh no, that curve is taking so much distance out of our shot. Alright, uh, the wind's with us here, so I think we just leave it as is. Uh, maybe, maybe a little less than the top because of the two mile. Well, it's two mile an hour wind. This is seven iron. Yeah, we'll see. I won't give it all of it because we have 116 max. It's 109 where the pin lies. So, let's say there-ish. We'll see. Way too little. Way, way too little. I'm not doing my math right on each of these ticks, I can tell you that. Alright, birdie putt, everybody. So, it says 32 feet. So, we're coming up a hill, but there's no real hill after the pit. So, let's give it about... There-ish? Maybe? Oh! We keep missing these putts by this much! Look at that! All right, let's go for par. Come on, get in there, get in there. Thank you. Oh man, all the way down in tenth place. I, I, we can we can still dig out of this hole, but wow, we keep just barely missing our birdies though, which is a real pain in the neck. Okay. So we shouldn't be in the low-lying fairway. No, we are. Man, I was hoping the five mile an hour wind would help us a little bit. Now we gotta get up out of this chunk of ground. Well, the wind's behind us now. Let's give it the full four iron. I would say. Yeah, because the five iron's gonna put us there and the wind's not gonna help us. So, let's give it the full four iron and see what we get. Actually, let's give it the second of the last tick, because it's 140. Well, that's not what it is. But it might work. It might work. It might work! How many times we have almost chipped in during this game? We have almost chipped in two times. Okay. Let's think here. We're going uphill. Putter. Because of that hill. Because of that hill. Because of that hill! Let's go, birdie! Finally, a good approach leads into a birdie. Coming up a little bit. We're not winning this. We're not winning this. Look at look at Putz and Azealia just hanging out at minus four. But, like, we could do okay. Very small curve, but it might still net us a bunker. It did. It did. Alright, the bunker's gonna take a big chunk uh, out of our hit here. So let's hope the uh, let's hope the wind saves us and just give it the full two iron. Because otherwise we are nailing that tree. Still on the run.
rough. I think we might lose that birdie we saved, everybody. We might lose that birdie we saved, because I didn't calculate for the rough there. No! Unless we... Unless we hit this. Unless we hit this. Too much, little too much, little too much. 33 yards. Oh, par putt. Alright, 18 feet is a little more than half. Come on, get in there, get in there. That's so close. Thank you. Alright. We got this plus one over here. I think I think we can dig our way out of the plus one to at least plus zero, but I don't think we're gonna place or anything. Seventeen. Yeah, we're gonna aim all the way over here for that seventeen miles an hour. I don't think we're gonna get most of the most of the four iron here. Oh, that's way too much. That's way too much curve. Nope. Look at that. We were almost out of bounds there. Okay. That might be a little too much. Maybe not. That was a pretty good approach. That was a pretty good approach ship. I think we could have done a little better, but that was a pretty good approach ship. I think we've got a pretty good shot. Far here. Okay, yeah, far. Far, far, far. Oh man, we jumped up a ways uh, from 9 to 5 tie because of that par there. Obviously, we're not gonna, unless we land some wild, wild shots, I don't think we're gonna make it up to the podium, but I think we're getting better. Did we just change mid-shot? Did everyone see that? I mean, that's allowed, but like, it's a little early game for that. Yeah, I, honestly, I think we're better off with the two iron here. It'll give us a better approach than whiffing with the, with the four wood. Tree. Oh, saved from the tree. Alright, we might be able to get a good... If we get a good ship, I think we can... Bless you. Yeah, if we can get a good ship on this... Chip in, baby! <laughs> Let's go! Chip in for birdie! Let's go! Yeah, tied for third! Now, if we can get a few more of those, we might be able to stay here. A true Magnus. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, a chew. You think we're better off? No, I think we're better off playing through this window. Curve may say otherwise. Or we could land in that little chunk of fairway. We take those. We take those. I will take those. Those are very good. I will take those. Thank you. Okay. 93 to 98. That seems about right. As long as we don't hit one of these trees. I'm gonna gamble on hitting the tree. We're, we're doing modestly anyhow. Ooh, I could have intentionally... Oh no, we're up and over the tree. We're fine. Approach. Ooh, baby. 
Yeah, if I'd have known we were coming up and over the tree, I would have adjusted to try and, like... Okay. We do need to adjust for the hill there. I think that's enough. Another birdie! Now we gotta give it the world's titchiest little putt. I get the last two feet per par. Every time my short game, every time. Look at that, look at that. We could have we could have broken the tie for third and just been in a great spot. 18 miles an hour of wind. Incredible volume of wind. Uh, we're gonna need to adjust all the way over here. Pushed into the drop. Oh, man, I was really hoping to get no curve on that shot. We're already getting enough curve out of the wind. That'll do. That will do. That is a workable shot. Can we go for the three wood? I think we go for the three wood because we've been hitting differently than I've been expecting. Curving mm. into the wind here. Bunker, baby! Bunker. Alright. Well, the pitching wedge is gonna give us, get us enough loft to make that a reasonable shot, I think. This wind's right behind us, and we're right in the wind, so... Oh, that curve's gonna... that curve's gonna lose me the approach. Well, it curved me in the bunker, see? We should've gone up one more iron. Now it's too late. So it's... um... Oh, it's right there. Okay. That may not be right. Uh, I could have, I could have given that a little more, and we could have gotten a great approach. Now we're putting for par with a middling putt here. Putting up a hill. Yeah, we could have, we could have, I think, if we had approached, we had gotten a better approach there, uh, done a little better. I will take third the rankings stay as they do. Oh, okay, the wind's in our face. We have a little more. Is that too much? No, we'll give a little more. Ooh. No, not in the bunker. Alright, that, that's a pretty easy chip. could be possible. That might be a little too much chip. Oh, look at that. Off the pin. Alright, well, I'll take a par. That's way too much. That's way too much. That's way too much. I did not push the button correctly. Oh, man, we had par. Oh, now we're plus one. I mashed for the little bitty tap shot. Oh, I mashed for the tap shot into a bogey. No, we had the world's easiest par. We had the world's easiest par in front of us, and I should have just I should have just slowed down and took the shot, but I didn't. Win, the two iron even would have been adversely affected. Look at that. 
I could have given the full forward and we, we wouldn't have made it. That would have been a great approach shot. Alright, par putt. That's too much. That's too much. No, we were putting uphill. We're fine. We'll take the par. I was hoping to get a birdie, but we'll take the par. Look at that. Tied for third. The second I get a birdie, I'm clear. I just need to get a birdie. I just need to get a birdie in the next next four holes. No win whatsoever. Perfect conditions. Ooh. That may curve the way we want it to away from the tree, though. Yes. Put it on a little further, but... Hey, best drive. We take those. I'm gonna say I want to take the sure thing, the two iron here. I should not touch the middle of the D-pad. No. I say we take the sure thing, the two... No. Well, that's 177. Ooh. I'm gonna gamble on it. I'm gonna gamble on it. Because if we, if we nail this approach, we'll have an albatross. That's not enough. That's not enough to be an approach shot. No, that was, that was way too little. Now we gotta, now we have a mile-long chip to do this with. That might be a little too much. Oh no, maybe not. gotten that out of the wood, we'd be in a great spot. No hill, no nothing, just six feet of poop. There we go. Easy peasy par. We made it a little too difficult, difficult, lemon difficult on the, on the birdie shot there. So we take advantage of this wind. Carry the ball. Not our best shot tonight, no. But definitely workable. Ooh. Ooh, we can do this. Come on, baby. Wind, help me out. Approach. Alright. Now if we get this birdie putt, if we get this birdie putt, uh, we move up our rank. I can't tell if we're in the hill or not, whether the hill hitbox is still activated. I'm gonna give it half the putter and see what that gets us, because there's a hill above the hole, too. Let's go, Birdie! Yeah, second place! Now we just need to, need to do that a few more times, and we'll come out ahead. Because even the pros are losing their huge lead here. I was hoping we could stay on either one of the other chunks of raised fairway. Four iron's getting a lot, a lot of air, so I think we're going to adjust accordingly. Ooh, look at how.
how much the wind affected that one. We could have given that a little more and had an absolutely wild approach. The sand wedge gives a lot of air. Let's give this about half of it for 15 yards. Ooh, maybe, maybe. That's that's a relative. That's a, that's a playable approach, I would say. Playable approach for par. I could have gone. A, I could have done a little better, but playable. There we go. That's a par. Again, I think we could have... Oh! We're tied for first at zero. Let's go. Okay. Let's see once, uh, what we can do here. 15 mile an hour wind. Alright, let's see what this gets us. I may be over adjusting, but that might not be the end. Oh boy. That curve might save us. That's a really good approach shot. This could be a pretty easy birdie. That's 10 feet. Alright, let's give it 15 and see what we get. That bounced and I was very nervous. We will take that birdie though. Alright, now we just gotta not blow this lead. Ooh, we got the wind behind us. Alright, let's... can't adjust that way, so let's see what this does. Okay, no spin, no curve. Wind's really helping us. Now, can I go across this water feature? Do I have enough gas behind my swing? No. I do not. Do I gamble on getting over this water hazard? I shouldn't. We have the lead. I should play safe. But I'm not gonna. Ooh. Again. No! Oh, he bounced. He bounced. I didn't even know it could bounce. He bounced. It was sick. Fine. That was so cool. I didn't even know the ball could bounce. I was like, no, we lose. It's dead forever. We just lost our lead. No, bounce. Ooh. Ooh, no, I didn't, I didn't put enough under that. Oh. Now we have the mother of all putts to try and get something interesting out of this. Look at that, look at that. Okay, so we got two hills we're, we're putting down here. That may be a little bit of an over-adjustment, but I think it's worth the gamble. I say we give it about 40, and see what we get. No, that was way too much! I was 50! I was 10 less than I should have given it, now we're stuck at par! Okay. That's not gonna be enough. That's not gonna be enough. That's not gonna be enough. We just lost our lead. Dang it. <laughs> I just blew that the lead that that bounce gave us. Dang it. Now we're back at plus plus minus zero. <laughs> we could have. Oh, okay. Second place. <sighs> that bounce, man. That bounce. Oh, look at all them. Look at all them experience points. Levels. Let's go. I say we I say we even out our shot. We even out our shot and uh I would say We don't need to blow points on our on our drive yet. I think we I think we bump the height up one. Wait, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's 
think I, uh, I think I miscalculated in one of our stats. Second place trophy! That's pretty good, so like, it is entirely feasible for us to get the first place trophy. Yeah, second place. Oh, I didn't mean to hit that. Uh-oh. I didn't mean to hit that. Uh, you gain one level with 41 more points. Can I go to the practice range? I will not shoot for the club champion next yet. Exactly. I want to take on different challenges. Can I go play on the practice range? No? Why can't I go play the practice range? No. Okay, I guess it won't let me go play practice games, so I guess I will go shoot for the club champ. No. Okay. Go back into the clubhouse. We leave the clubhouse and just like go into menus. Oh, there is different places. We can go. Not yet though. There's a little world map. Look at that. I forgot about this little world map. Okay, this is the uh... oh the Dune Club. And what are the practice ranges? You there. Club, want to play golf? Not yet. What this? A special hole. Oh, it's like a, it's like a little bitty baby hole. Ooh, that's gonna be way too much with the wind. No, I'm wrong. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. So close. Aiming for that target from that tease in practice, says that guy. Ooh, uh, uh, uh. I'll acknowledge your skill if you hit the target from here. Sure. Acknowledge my skills, sir. Today's golfers are pitiful. Wiggle, wiggle. Oh my gosh. 18 mile an hour wins. Again, no. We we had we were closest with our first shot. Wiggle. I'm just gonna keep going for this for a little while, I think I can get it. Oh, that's pretty close. We're getting closer. Oh, we have to hit the little circle around the T. We're getting closer. Come on! Ooh. We got under that one a little too much. 
keep doing this. I'm gonna keep- I can- I can hit this. I know I can hit this. Look how close we've been. That curve is not gonna help me. No, no, we're so close. We keep getting like onto the green, and I'm like, oh yeah, an approach shot. It's like, no, you gotta do it in one. I almost, I almost wonder if we'd be better with the four, better off with the. No, we'd be better off with the lesser iron. No, we need the two iron to get there. There's gotta be a way to hit this. Wiggle. I love his little, like, <laughs> face. It's great. I think, I think any kind of curve or slice, we just... <gasps> so close! It bounced out of it! We got, we, we gotta be able to get this. There's gotta be a way to get this. I, I'm sure this gets you something super cool if you hit it. This has gotta be one of those like mini game items or something. Come on, no. The... <laughs> Again, I think that was a little far. Every time I think I've got it, like the wind pulls it out of the way, or I'm hitting too hard or both. Look at that. Come on, roll. Roll! No! It's still, we still didn't adjust enough for the wind. And that time it wasn't far enough? heck? Maybe we can't do this yet. Maybe we need to improve our stats. Curving into the wind to slow it down? Oh. See, that wouldn't have made it. Hmm. See, it's like the, it's the littlest fraction between the perfect, uh, fraction between that and the perfect maximum power shot. Why does it... It's the wind! Like, the wind The wind changes so much that I can't really, like, muscle memory out a shot? That's the wrong curve. That's with the wind. That's not gonna work. This is just, like, happening randomly at this point. There's gotta be a way to do this. There has to be. Stop. No! Every time I'm like, oh man, I got it, and then it just doesn't. I gotta give it, like, this, the tiniest... Honestly, I think I'm better off trying with the Iron. Let's see what the three iron gets us. It's a different kind of close. Hmm. Mode 
maybe nah too much wind look at how much look at how much the wind affected that if we can get I, I think I think the key is hitting with the wind in mind with the like red mode Roll in, baby, roll in. Look at, look at how close that was. Did you all see how few pixels what that was away? So close. I think, I think we're onto something with the red, red four, red mode four. That's not gonna work, it's not the perfect shot. We need to get it exactly perfect and work on the positioning for the 18 mile an hour win. I, I genuinely think it's, we gotta do it this way. Nah, it's not the right shot. It has to be both of them are the little blinky bar. This is this is wild. This is crazy. This is bonkers. All right, sixteen mile bar. And we aim here. Okay. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Really? Really? I didn't adjust enough. If I had adjusted, that would have stopped. That would have stopped in the right spot. Wiggle. Alright, we got one more shot at this. We got another shot at it. This is, this is wild. Ooh, maybe. Could be. Nope. This is crazy. This is absolutely bonkers. Let's just see what we can get with the three iron. Just normal three iron. And then it's not affected by the wind enough. Wiggle, wiggle. Little sassy head wiggle. Aiming all the way over here. There's gotta be a way to do this. There's gotta be a way to do this. It's too much wind. Alright, I gotta give up. I gotta give up for the night. I think. Do one more. What if I go from here, though? Would, would you would you care if I went from here? Oh no, it's just a normal shot. shooting this. Oh no! It still would have just barely bounced out, but... Come 
I, I, I feel like I can do it. That has to be it. That has to be it. Stop! Stop! No! No! Oh! It counted! I'm thoroughly impressed by your golf skills. 40 XP! Keep it that pace and perfect your swing. Let's go. Thank you, sir. How many points until my next level now? I just got like a ton of XP. I had to I have to be close to experience now. Hey XP guy. No, I don't want to know the golf rules. I know golf golf rules. No, I I know golf rules. No, I don't wanna know about golf equipment. Where's the dude that tells me how many points until a level? One more point. Okay. You know what that means. Practice great time. kind of XP for just training. Training and how the game works here. I just need, I need one experience point. Like, really? I could like get one hole into you know what I'm doing, what are you doing? Approach. What about you? I use running in my approach. Won't you teach you? Yes. Running is easier when there are no obstacles within 60 yards of the green. Use a 3 iron to a 9 iron to approach the green. When aiming for the pin from a clear shot, use run. First choose an approach, and then a club. Five iron to carry the ball to the green and roll it in. Does he mean run is in the ball rolling? Simple, a try, yes. There we go, 20 XP, we level, baby. Oh, 
Okay. I think now we can start dumping points into drive, because I've got the shot, like, narrowed down. I want to practice from, like, right here. Yes. That's not a bad approach. Let's try the shot again. Again, not bad. Little less. Save the game, call it an evening, and next time we play this, uh, we'll probably go after the, uh, after the club champ for this area. Save and quit. Yes. Okay. Well, that's been Mario Golf for the evening, folks. Uh, I had a real blast playing this. Uh, it's been a real, uh, it's been a real blast, blast from the past playing this. Uh, feel free to tune in Friday night for Paper Cuts, as is usual. Uh, like I said, thanks for tuning in. Uh, Friday night's Paper Cuts, we're probably gonna finish up, uh, First Man on the Moon, so if you've been wondering how that ends, good time to find out. If you wanted to tune in for some short stories, probably a good time later this week. We might be back with back on this Monday. We might be on an RPG. It depends on how I'm feeling. Uh, 